I have a nice phone, an okay tablet, a nice laptop, and a nice monitor. But this e-ink tablet, man, it has terrible refresh rate, terrible picture quality, and videos on it are essentially unwatchable. But not only is it my favorite piece of tech, it's changing my life. And if you're anything like me, I think it could change yours as well. There are two types of people in this world. Those who are devoted to the cult of e-ink tablets and will corner you in a crowded store just to tell you how amazing they are. And then you have normal people. And for all you normies out there, to cut a long story short, e-ink tablets, unlike your regular glossy LCD and OLED tablets, try to emulate the texture and feel of a pen and paper using these tiny little micro capsules that are located under the screen. I'm not gonna go into all the technical elements, but just know that it essentially feels like pen and paper. The problem with this technology is that every time you refresh the page, the little micro capsules have to rearrange themselves completely under the glass. And this makes these tablets comparatively slow and laggy. So why the heck do I use this thing? Well, it's the same reason I have a nice phone, but when I unlock it, it looks like this. Your success in life will be determined by the quality and direction of your focus. See, I am obsessed with finding every single possible way to improve the quality of my focus. Before I got this guy, I spent almost all of my time on one of these three devices. It was a nightmare because I'd be coding or editing one of these videos, and in the back of my mind, I knew that one tab over were all these distractions like YouTube that would be vying for my attention. The problem was even worse on my phone or my regular tablet. None of these apps on your phones were designed by mistake. They were engineered by some genius marketing team whose sole goal was to make their logo colorful enough and appealing enough to stand out amongst all the others on your phone. So let's say I'd be working on a newsletter, datanash.co.uk slash newsletter, and all of these colorful apps and notifications would be trying to draw me in. And the solution seems simple, just ignore the apps or put it on flight mode. But that's just not enough friction for me because the whole time my brain would be telling me to just have a quick check. And that takes away bandwidth from focusing on what's actually important, which is the work that I'm doing. And this is the real solution. The books tablet is black and white, meaning you're much less likely to have your attention drawn by anything that you're not actively seeking out. And even if you do click on some app, the screen itself is not designed to be this eye-catching 4K thing that just makes scrolling casually so easy. It introduces a level of friction to make time-wasting essentially, essentially impossible. What this tablet allows me to do is work completely distraction free. I love this thing so much that my laptop has effectively been demoted to a machine that I only use for admin, coding and video editing. Anytime I need to do deep work like planning or even writing a script, this thing is my first port of call. And that's a good thing. Despite it being so good for distraction free work, it's not stuck in the stone ages. So I still have access to my favorite apps like Kindle, OneNote, and of course my absolute favorite, Obsidian. So this is the perfect blend of being low tech and high tech, meaning that on top of regular writing work, I can do all of my journaling with the pen that comes with the tab. And sure, I could hypothetically do all of my journaling on this keyboard that comes with it, but there is something about using a pen that just, it helps me to connect more. And because it's an e-ink display like a Kindle, it's perfect for reading e-books without getting all of that glare into your eyes right before you sleep. And again, I like taking digital notes in my books and the books <laughs> makes this super simple. And so that I don't sound like a complete fanboy, I should tell you some of the drawbacks. The official cover for this thing is absolutely terrible. I mean, just very badly designed. Whenever I'm in typewriter mode, honestly, it's always falling over just because it's so high compared to the little stand. And honestly, it's ridiculous. And then you have the obvious See what I mean? <laughs> and then you have the obvious stuff that I mentioned before, where compared to a regular tablet, this one has bad sound and refresh rate and that sort of a thing. And if it's not obvious by now, I do absolutely 100% recommend e-ink tablets. So much so, in fact, that I didn't always have this big tablet. I used to have the smaller color one, but I had to upgrade. And now that I've shot this 10 second outro of this video, I can go sell this and make some money back. So yeah, lovely. E-ink tablets, absolutely recommend. See you later. Check out this video.